Hello everybody, Moose here, and welcome back to The Long Dark. Now, you might see that this is not where we left off in the last episode, <clears throat> and you would be right, because I recorded a couple of other videos, and, but for some reason they were rendered useless. Something about the, the editing program not being able to render them or something, but they just I couldn't use them whatsoever, so... Sorry about that, but nothing overly exciting happened, so let's just pick it up from here and we'll be good. So, now, it looks like it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty windy and foggy outside, so going outside would probably be a bit dangerous, seeing as the <clears throat> fatigue should probably stay here for a bit. See if I can maybe use a little bit of time on something. Harvest this one, for example. Get some cloth. Maybe mend some more clothing. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that I did in those videos. I mended a lot of clothes, um, <clears throat> just to to yeah. I I left all my leather. Back at the uh, that hut, that thingy there. Can't remember what it's called, but um, let's repair this one a little bit. Let's see what do we have of food and drink? We have lots of water, so that's good. We have some food, so. Right, our fatigue is pretty high, so we should probably go to bed. Or, you know what? <clears throat> Let's do a little bit more mending before we go to bed. Like this one, the outer jacket. It's going to take a bit of time. And it's getting darker. And let here. Let's have a snack. And some water. There we go. Let's go to bed. It's about almost 7, so let's sleep until 5.48. That's when it starts to get... At 6 o'clock it starts to get more brighter. <clears throat> and like I said in one of the other videos that disappeared, uh, this place here could be a rifle spawn, but it should be right here, and it getting wasn't, thirsty. so... Getting kind of thirsty, oh shit. Yeah, it wasn't right here, so we're gonna have to look for the uh, rifle some other place. So, how are we looking? Hungry. <laughs> Which one? Pinnacle Peaches. There we go. That's better. Alright. Let's keep going, is it? Holy shit, it's gold. Um, yeah. We should head uh, in that direction there, because the hunting lodge, the hunting cabin, is over there somewhere, I think. So we should go there. That, if the rifle hasn't spawned here, it will probably spawn there. Definitely, I think. So, <clears throat> there's also a lot of other stuff there that we can use. So, let's just go. Jesus, I'm fast. What the fuck? Should maybe not run. I'm afraid I'm gonna break something. This trail here goes down to like a clear cut 
And to the right, if we uh, go right when we come down here, you get to a uh, like a loggers camp or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we came from there because we wanted to go up to the, uh, the forestry lookout. Um, so there was nothing, nothing of interest there really. You know, just some basic supplies. We did scare off a wolf though uh, with one of our flares. So, but I mean, other than that, it was pretty uneventful. So let's go this way. <clears throat> Good God, it's cold. Jesus. It's downright dangerous. And I know, because I found one time that I played this, I found the bunker up here, up there somewhere, I think. So maybe we should just do a short little loop up the hill here, look for it, and then go back down. Ooh, there's a cabin. Let's go check that one out. As I, I know this first map fairly well, uh, because I played this one the most, I think. Uh, but they, they added, you know, the second and third maps. Um, I know the second map a little bit because that one has a pretty simple layout because most of the map is a huge lake. But you'll see that when we get to it. But that one's pretty easy. The the hardest one is the last the last one because that one is very big and things are far in between. So Really? Nothing more? Thanks. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go up here. Because the, um, the bunker has, uh, like I said earlier, has a random spawn. Uh, or maybe I said that in one of the other videos that I couldn't fix. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, the... The, uh, ra uh, yeah, the bunker has a random spawn, but it has, like, a set number of spawns that it can randomly spawn into. It's not like it can spawn anywhere on the map, but it's not quite here. I think it's a little bit further along. <clears throat> here is a Ooh. There are usually wolves down here, so it's kind of... Yeah, there's one right there. Damn it. Because it's like... I could, could go check down that one, but usually it doesn't have a whole lot of interesting stuff. Um, if I can please get up here. Or no. There we go. <clears throat> So I'll just forget that one for the time being, maybe come back and check it later, but it usually doesn't have too much. Um, if you listen closely, you can hear the wolves howl. It's fucking scary. But if you can barely hear them, it means they're far away, because... Yeah. Now, the bunker should be here somewhere, so, and you should be able to see pretty well the, uh, the bunker hatch. Uh, so it's not here, it must have spawned somewhere else. But we should, uh, get to the hunter's lodge, and we think we should set up a camp there. because uh, that's, the, I think, the best place to set up camp, because uh, it has a workbench and a stove, bed, everything you need really in one place. Um, and we'll work out from there. So once we've set up a basic camp there, we'll go back to the other camp and pick up our stuff from there and bring it back. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I might do some jump cuts if uh, things go far in between. Um, anything happening. 
just so it doesn't get too boring for you guys. So once we press this ridge here, then the hunter's launch is on the other side, downhill. <clears throat> I saw a deer carcass down there, but I don't want to lug around a lot of shit right now. We can come back for that later. Let's see here. Yeah. There we are. You can see a deer or elk or whatever you want to call it down there. Probably an elk. It looks like an elk. And then the hunter's lodge here. Smoke from the chimney. That was super confusing the first time I played this. Elk. I thought that there were actual people here, but uh, there aren't. That was nothing. But they will add NPCs later. I don't know if they're going to add NPCs in the sandbox version, the sandbox mode, uh, but they're going to have it in the story mode at least. So once uh, once story mode comes out, I'll definitely play that. We'll see how it goes, and maybe I'll do a let's play with that too. So here we are. Fuck yes, rifle. Give that to me, please. Um, let it be in good condition. 95. Oh, yeah. 95%. That's awesome. Okay, let's search everything. Bandage. Good. Water purification tablets. I haven't used them yet, so... I mean, I usually manage without them, but I guess if I can't manage... If I can't boil some melted snow... I guess that would be nice. Uh, oh yeah. Let's see here. The combination, combinations for, for safes are always random, I think. Oh shit, ah, god damn it. Can I go back to zero? You said it, that was about 13, wasn't it? Or was it over that? Do we have to go all the way back now and just reset it? Okay. Yeah. And we go back to about five. Yep. And we go this way. And you just I just press the A and B keys to rotate this. I would do it pretty slowly, so. <clears throat> Jesus. Where the fuck is this next one? Oh, there we go. Open. I could use Where? Really? You can use a magnifying lens. Oh, that was a snare. Nice. You can use a magnifying lens to uh, start fires, too. So that's nice to have. And the snare you can, of course, place somewhere in the world and um, catch rabbits and stuff. Rifle round. That's good. Herbal tea. I can stay there for the time being. Firewood. Rifle round. Antibiotics. Bandage. Locker. Thank God this one wasn't locked because I think I no wait I did find a pry bar because some things can be locked and you need a pry bar to break them open. <clears throat> now let's see here. <sighs> we need to eat a little bit because we're hungry and we're encumbered, so we need to drop some stuff. Yeah. Let's see here we can we have two hatchets. We don't technically need that right now. Let's see. Here. <clears throat> Let's go from weight. Could put the jerry can in here. This one takes five up to five kilos. We can put one of the hatchets here. 
can put some more cloth in here because we don't need to lug that around now. We can then go home if we want to mend something. The bedroll is fairly heavy, but it's also it's also good to have if I if I really have to. Um, pry bar is also good to have with me. Simple tools I can try, drop off. Oh no, it doesn't take any more. Okay, put in here 15 kilos. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, the bedroll is good to have if I need to have like an emergency stay over at some place or something. Like if it doesn't have a bed, or if I need to sleep outside. Um, not a pry bar, simple tools, simple tools, antiseptic. We don't need to lug that around because I don't think I I don't get attacked by wolves that much because I usually go around them. Sometimes they just you know spawn real close or once you when you come out of a building. But I think we I think we can just drop these off. We can drop off. Uh, six of the bandages, just in case we get attacked for firewood, yeah. Uh, no, let's just put the firewood someplace else. Uh, newsprint roll, yeah, let's put that with the firewood. Newsprint and yeah, lantern fuel, no, we can bring that because we use our lantern. The snare I want to bring because I want to put it somewhere in between here and the other place. <clears throat> Uh, down vest, I want to salvage that one. Um, and one thing, matches. Matches degrade if you have them on you. So only have, like, a little bit on you at a time, or if you find, like, um, a fire striker or whatever it's called, then, you know, use that or whatever and save the, uh, the matches, because they, like I said, they degrade. In your pocket, so that's not good. Um, don't need the rose hip. Let's see here, painkillers don't really need aviator either or the accelerant. Painkillers, painkillers, cardboard matches. Yeah, put that over there. I'm gonna need some matches. I'm gonna take that over again. But the painkillers, we don't need those. And the sewing kit, don't need that since we don't have any cloth. Fishing tackle, I'll just drop that, don't need that right now. Magnifying lens, let's let's keep that so we can start fires. Um, by the way, let's just, let's just bring uh, one of the accelerants because that's, that's very important if you're, if I need to stay outside and make a fire because I don't, want, I don't want to use uh, a lot of time trying to get a fire going or not get a fire going whatsoever, so. <clears throat> what more do we need to put over here? Yeah, whatever. Then we can just drop our wood here. Drop the newsprint. Print, uh, yeah, the newsprint. The newsprint roll. Yeah, we can drop that. We can bring our tinder plugs in case we need to. Because uh, you can you can salvage for wood and uh, tinder plugs and stuff like that when you're outside um, or inside for that matter. It depends, you know, uh, what you'll get. I'll harvest this one real quick. Put the cloth in there, and I'm actually all out of time. So let's just put this. Was it in here? Cloth. Was it? Cloth, cloth, cloth. There we go. That over there, and yeah. That's it for this one. Um, yeah, the next episode I'll go back to the <clears throat> other uh, place where we dropped off our stuff and pick that up, bring it back here, and then we have our base set up so we can start doing stuff. Um, yeah, so that's it for this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hello everybody, who's here? And welcome to the Long Dark, a game where we are surviving in there's much more to say to it here in the menu, so let's just get into it. Um, or yeah, one thing. They don't have the story mode. This is it. Still an alpha.